One, two, three, four, five. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five. We are the last stop before the landfill. That's the way we consider ourselves. You're gonna call the recycler, you're gonna call American Science and Circle sometimes, and oftentimes we went out. Yeah, I'm Patrick Meyer, president of American Science and Surplus. We're kind of a science and educational based company that likes to have fun along the way. We do a lot with novelties and toys along with science fair projects and laboratory glassware and telescopes and microscopes. A lot of do-it-yourselfers come. We've got motors and blowers and pumps and gears, but we also have office supplies and tools. We're kind of a mishmash of a little bit of everything. So if you like it, it's, it's my doing. If you don't like it, it's my fault. Initially, a lot of our products start off as surplus, but they, they sell so well that after they sell out, because surplus is very limited, we, we sometimes try and uh, find a source for them and sell them as a regular reorderable item. So it's probably about 50-50 mix. So it's about 50% true surplus goods, and then 50% is stuff that along the way we've decided that we need to have this item. So we have it, we deal with some vendors that, that bring in the stuff. Because of the eclectic mix of stuff we carry, we don't really have a core customer in terms of, you know, that we can call just, this is where our customer base is, let's focus on them. You know, we got do-it-yourselfers, hobbyists, arts and crafters, essential oil people, because we carry a lot of containers, a lot of science fair folks, a lot of teachers and homeschoolers come in. We've got a lot of artists who come in and love our store, robotics folks and things like that. So if you wander the store long enough, you'll see people in every little area. And it's pretty much that way all the time. We want the store to continue to grow. As the community grows, as the internet grows, we want the store to continue to grow along with it. Products mix will stay similar, but you know, changes with the uh, inventory that's available. One thing with, with surplus is you can only buy what's there. You know, we can't manufacture something just to sell it as surplus. So as the surplus is available, we buy it. So we kind of go with the flow with that. We really try and push the store experience because it is an experience. It's, it's a visual experience. We're not Target, we're not Walmart. It's, we're as far away from Target and Walmart as we can. And that's kind of what we try and push is the wow factor. It's like we want sensory overload when people come into the store. We want them to have fun while shopping. We want this to be the most fun shopping they've ever had in their life.